What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. Okay, so crazy, crazy day yesterday. Uh, I did a live stream. Obviously, everyone knows what, what happened yesterday with the attempted assassination of former President Trump. Now, I want to show you, I was uh, looking on Twitter, and they had a shot of the Secret Service, the actual uh, Secret Service agents that were on top of a building. And uh, these are the snipers that are, you know, looking and making sure that everything is, is safe. Um, and you'll see in this video, they are facing the shooter. And as soon as the shooter shoots, then they return fire. So I, I just thought it was interesting. Um, there's going to be a lot. This is going to be heavily scrutinized. The, the head of the Secret Service will be meeting with, uh, there'll, there'll be a hearing. I think it's not this week, but it'll be the next week. And so we're going we're gonna to learn a lot more information about this whole situation. Uh, but I just thought it was interesting. You, you have someone, I believe they said he was about 148, I think 148 yards away. He was outside of their, the security uh, zone or the perimeter. But they, he had an elevated position. And the fact that uh, that was allowed is going to be something that is going to be heavily scrutinized. The the fact that he was able to get on top of this building with an AR-15 and and have line of sight to the the former president that that's going to be really. I mean, you're going to see a lot of um, we're going to get a lot of information. But we what we do know is we have a lot of people that attended this this rally. And everyone has a cell phone. Everyone has their phone out. They're recording, taking pictures and all. So we're going to get a lot of footage of this incident. And so hopefully this will be, you know, the, unfortunately someone did pass away. Um, an innocent person passed away that was at the rally. Uh, former President Trump seems to be okay. And there, I think there was another person that was injured. I don't know the severity of their injuries. And then the shooter was neutralized. And I, I would assume this is the Secret Service agent that was able to to um, fire and and hit the, the shooter. So I'm going to show you guys this clip, and then we'll talk a little bit about the ramifications afterwards. What's going to happen next? What's going to happen now when it comes to these rallies and, and just the protection of uh, important people? Let, let, let's face it. He's a, he was a former president. He gets Secret Service protection, just like Obama does and just like uh, President Biden does now. And, and when he becomes a former president, he'll also get the Secret Service protection. And so let, let's, let's take a look at this, and then we'll come back. So just looking, before we even get started, uh, you can see the Secret Service agents. They're right here. So these are the snipers that are on the, on the roof here. And President, former President Trump is right here. OK, and I believe the shots came from it, it would be a distance off in a distance over on this side. Uh, so that's where where the shots were coming from. There's a larger screen there. So that's where that's where it would come from there. And then they return fire. So you'll see them. You'll see them do that right here. And, you know, that's a little bit old. That chart. that chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. So you see that, and then they return fire. Now, I don't know if they... So just looking at that again, and I apologize for the language there, but I don't know if the Secret Service agent... I don't know if he shot or if he thought he was being shot at. It's kind of hard to see because I know there were a few shots first, and then you heard the return, uh, return fire. And so this camera kind of pans down. So I don't know if you're actually seeing the shot. I know there's another, I think there's another uh, sniper that's laying down or, or squatted down a little. So maybe that Secret Service agent shot. But ju I just want you to watch it again. Just kind of watch his movement. He kind of does, uh, we'll, we'll pan like this and then I'll, I'll play it again. But he kind of like does a pop up and then gets back on the scope and... and uh, I would assume he shot. You see how he kind of pops his head up like that, where he's looking, 
And so maybe he heard the sh- so he's he might have been panning. I don't know. I'm just you know, I'm speculating here, but he might have been panning before maybe looking at the individual and then when he heard the shots then he looked you know, he looked up out of the scope or he's focused on something else. He's not even looking in that direction and then when he hears the shots then he foc- you know, he pops up to look to scan to see where the shot was coming from and then he got back on the scope and and probably return fire. But we'll, we'll watch it one more time. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Yeah, you see, and you, you, you can clearly see, because he moved, he actually moved the, the rifle at that time. So he was probably looking at something else, just kind of scanning maybe the audience or scanning around the area. And then when you heard the shots, he popped up and then... Um, I don't know if the other, I can't see, you can't really see when they actually um, started shooting back, but crazy, crazy, crazy situation, and this is something that we should never see, never see in, in the U.S. As far as is, is our, you know, law enforcement, the, the abilities, the, the training and everything that we get, I think they did a good job. I think the Secret Service, after the fact, I think they did a good job. Uh, in, in getting the former president back in the vehicle and getting him, uh, you know, getting him to a safe place. But um, you have to scrutinize the the whole situation. How did you get to this point? How was that allowed as far as allowing someone to be able to get on top of a roof that is 100 and, 100 and let's just say, 150 yards away that has line of sight to the former president? How do you allow something like that? Uh, you're giving up that elevated, that elevated level when, you, I mean, they, there's there are so many different things that they could have done. They could have put something in front of it, uh, just to uh, block that that view, uh, or they could have just taken over that area and you had some. You could have had some snipers on that roof, just so you know they could make sure that no one was there. Uh, they could have locked down that. I don't know what that facility was where the, the shooter was, but they could have locked down that facility so no one, no one could have come in and out. But uh, a lot a lot of screw. We're going to hear a lot more about this. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. I thought that was really interesting, this viewpoint. Now, like I said, there are going to be a lot of different – there, there are going to be a lot of different viewpoints because everyone did have their cameras and you know, probably had their cameras on and, and they're recording this whole thing. So we're going to learn a lot more. As I get more information, more video, I will let you guys know um, because I, 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 think it's, I think it's something that we should be paying attention to uh, just, just based on, I mean, the, the, we're, we're in a climate now, and, I, and I've talked about this before, we're in a climate now that is really, really... Um, Energized. I don't even know how to say. Energized is not the right word. It, it's it's very toxic. Okay, that's the right word. We're in a toxic environment when it comes to our, our uh, when it comes to politics, and you have candidates going at each other, and and not just the presidential you know race, but you have candidates down ballot that are going against each, you know going at each other and and saying things, and it's just. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. I've been following politics for over thirty years. I when I went to college, I majored in political science. I I participated in campaigns when I was younger, um, and I've never seen anything like this. You know, I was a campaign manager for a, a, a race out in in California, and things were things were rough, and we had our challenges, but we never saw anything like this as far as the the uh, just the 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 hate and the and the the anger and all this stuff that that we're seeing now it's just crazy it's 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 out of control and so um, like I said there's going to be a lot of scrutiny on this so there's going to be a lot more coming from this I will make sure that uh, the hearings I will do when they when they do the hearings I will do maybe a live stream or something where we'll talk about that uh, so make sure you guys come back subscribe hit that little bell notification. But uh, this is this is a, a really this is a historic event. This is something that's going to go down in history, and we're all going to be um, we all know where we were when this actually happened. And so that's all I have on the topic today. Make sure you guys like the video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.